Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Analogies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I'll talk about bank reconciliation. Let's go to SQL Accounting System, GL, Bank Reconciliation. Now, the first thing is bank reconciliation is one of the most important transactions in any accounting system because this is the place where you actually know your actual bank balance for example, if you call to a bank, bank told you that you have 10,000, you go to online to you, 10,000. But today, you want to issue a $2,000 check, can you issue or not? Everyone will say no problems. But can you remember, actually three months ago, you have issued a check to another person that worth 10,000. Imagine at the same day, the person bank in the 10,000 check plus the 2,000 check also bank in at the same day, then you have problems. That's why you must know is there any outstanding or we call it your supplier have not banked in a check or when your customer pay you money and the check have not cleared. So all this information can be known through bank reconciliation. Of course, Nowadays, many people will use online payment, then there will be no problems. But I still will say that bank reconciliation is very important. So let's see how to do a bank reconciliation. In SQL accounting system, you can actually key in a transaction, let's say in October, and later on key back a transaction that is for January. You can backdate a transaction, but not for bank reconciliation. Let's say your financial year start or you start to use SQL in January, you need to do your bank reconciliation starting from January. And to do that, you click new and you select when is your bank statement date. Example, I want to do for October. And what is the bank account? Maybe May Bank. Display period is from when to when. For demo purpose, I'll take out the display period, meaning that all check will appear. And I only want to show untake transaction, meaning that those have not recon, I want to show. And I want to show current recon transaction, which is I recon at this bank recon, it will still appear. Then I apply. So all the check or all the payment you pay out or money received into the Maybank will appear over here. The first thing that you do, unlike other accounting system, you need to put in the bank statement bank closing. This closing figure is stated at your bank statement, the last figure, the balance in the bank. Example, I put 10,000. Okay, then what you need to do is normally use a pencil and a ruler look at your bank statement do the recon from the first check that is clear one by one and then to do that there are few ways if you can there's inside your bank statement it will show the check number then you can just type the click on the check number column just type the check number and system will look for you so if this check is clear, then you click on it. And you can see that when you take system calculate bank closing and our balance will change. So what is this? This is actually when you look at your bank statement, the first column is the check date, then check description, check amount, and the last column is called balance. It's an accumulate balance. Example. Originally, you have 1,000 in your bank. There's one check coming in, clear 200. Then that balance will become 1,000 plus 200. It's 1,002. It's an accumulation. If a one check out 100 ringgit and it's clear, then that balance will become 1,200 minus 100 equal to 1,100. So what you need to do is check this figure, 6,000, is it same as the final figure that means the accumulate balance for this 6000 check the last column 
when it's okay then you proceed with second one you can also sort according to the debit side or credit side or key in the amount so this is how you do bank reconciliation in SQL accounting system you do not need to wait until you finish the whole bank record only you realize there is mistake because from here let's say I do another few record and you see that and you see that the system calculate bank closing is like this and it's not same as the balance for that check for the final column meaning that you are making mistake or sometime when you do halfway you find that there is a bank charges have not key in so what you can do is you can save this bank record close it let's do a bank charges so if you remember bank charges is not paying to your supplier so you can directly go to cash book entry and do the new PV let's say it's bank charges to let's say October and the check number let's say bank charges and the account of course I will use bank charges account so you can see I do not need to memorize what is the account code I just type in the name we do let's say this is 10 Eurotion number 60 bank charges has check number and you just go back to your GL bank reconciliation edit so that you can continue so what I need to do is over here I just type bank charges it will appear in that you can always do halfway save it pause then continue later on and once you finish you can know that out of balance will definitely become zero that means no out of balance it will be tally and if tally then you click on this preview button then you can see your bank reconciliation report uncredited check is the amount of the payment by your customer that is not clear unpresented check is the amount that you pay out which your supplier have not cleared so it will be your balance save it so then only you continue for the next month that will be November you cannot do October later on do another bank reconciliation for January cannot like that it always start from the first month else you will have problems so that's the idea of how to do bank reconciliation in SQL accounting system thank you for watching and once again I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies thank you